Welcome to the video tutorial for the 2016 TCIP application process. To start the application process, please go to www.business.utah.gov. Once you are there, and here we're looking at that, that home screen, you will click on the Programs tab and scroll to the Technology, Commercialization, and Innovation Program tab. Once you get on this page, you will see the general information about the Technology Commercialization and Innovation Program. In order to start the application process for the grant, please click on the TCIP Grant Solicitation Information tab on the left side of the screen. This is the TCIP Grant Solicitation Information page. Here you will see important dates, public information notices, and summaries about the pre-application, application, and mandatory in-person presentations. You will also see a step-by-step -step application process. The first step in applying for the TCIP grant is to click on the mandatory pre-application link that will be on the web page. The link is not currently activated, but will be once the application period opens. This, once you click on that link, this will be the web page that it takes you to for the pre-application. Again, you will see important dates, disclaimers, and a list of the TCIP policies and procedures, rules, and statutes. Once you have read those documents, please click on the I agree box to continue on with the application. For purposes of this demonstration, we will anticipate that this application will be a small business with the technology name being XYZ Co. in the life science industry. The company name is the same as the technology name in this case as we are a startup, XYZ Co. The entity type is an LLC and we are locally registered in the state of Delaware, or we are registered in the state of Delaware. The first name, you will enter in your first name, but for this purposes, the first name will be John and the last name will be Doe, and he is the CEO of this company. You'll enter in the email address and all other pertinent information so that we can contact you if your application is selected. Once this information is complete, please double check your email address to make sure that it is correct along with all other information. A special note of interest is to make sure the technology name is the specific technology that you are applying for and that may be different than the company name. Once you have completed this information, please go to the next page. In order to determine eligibility for the grant, uh, you will need to enter in the NAICS code that's associated with your project. For this project, because we are a life science company, the NAICS code is 541712. To verify what your NAICS code is, please visit this website here. You can copy and paste it into your browser and, and search for which NAICS code properly identifies your company. As we are a startup, there are zero um, annual revenue or sales for this company, and we only have two employees. Uh, the technology is not uh, licensed from a Utah-based university, and um, we have received an SBIR grant um, of the uh, Phase One variety um, in the last 18 months. Uh, we received that from the Department of Defense, and um, we've received a little bit of other private funding. Um, the total amount that we have received will be um, $250,000. And here I will just specify that uh, $150,000 came from the SBIR grant 
and then the remaining hundred thousand dollars came from friends and family. Once you have completed this page, you can continue to the next page. This is for security purposes. This page will allow you to review the information that you have submitted and make sure that it's all completely accurate. Once you have reviewed all this information, please make sure to click the confirm box at the very bottom. Once you see this screen, you will know that your response has been processed successfully. The next step in the application process is to look for an email coming from our office to the email that you submitted in that pre-application. Once I refresh this, um, hopefully we will see that email, but because it does take a minute for the application to process, you may have to wait um, up to um, a few hours to receive that email. I'll continue to refresh this. until we uh, receive that muted you will see here that we now have the email in the inbox um, with the signature with a uh, document asking for our signature so we will click this um, we will look at this DocuSign email and, and we will review the document um, you need to check this box um, after you've read the electronic records and signature disclosure and continue to see the document. Um, this document is a letter of intent that talks about um, some of the, the requirements and stipulations um, that, are, that go into um, applying for a government grant, um, is specifically this technology commercialization and innovation grant. Um, if you feel comfortable with the, with the document, uh, you can click on this icon to electronically sign. And you'll see we have John Doe and, and the initials there, and you click Adopt and Sign there. And then once you've done that, you come down here to the bottom and click the Finish button there. DocuSign will try and get you to sign up for their service, uh, but that's not required. Uh, once you do that, um, you should receive another email um, from our office thanking you um, for your signature. So you'll see here you can click on it. Um, you can review the document for your records um, and, and save this uh, for your records assigned copy. Um, you should also uh, receive a thank you from our office here um, with um, the link to the uh, the real application. So you've completed, at this point you've completed the pre-application and this will take you to the link to uh, complete the full application. Uh, this links you back to this step-by-step -step process. You've completed the pre-application and now you can click on this link that will be here for the online grant application. Again, like the pre-application, this link is not currently active, but will be active uh, once the uh, solicitation cycle opens up. Uh, we have this link here. Uh, once, you, once you come here, um, if you are a new user, you can click on this here, and um, it'll allow you to um, type in your information and create an account. If you've previously applied for this uh, grant, your information may be here. Although, please be aware that um, if an email or a name has changed since your last application, you will need to create a new user. Um, historically, if you've had uh, trouble logging into this, creating a new user is the easiest um, solution. Um, I'm a returning user, though, so I will sign in here um, with my credentials. And notice that the email matches the email that was um, put into the pre-application. That, that's extremely important. And I'll type in my password. 
once I've logged in here, I can click on the tab that says My Applications, and it should take me to to my application. As you can see here, I have the pre-app qualified checked and the letter of intent complete. Right now, it's um, the status is draft, but if I click on this link here, the edit link, I'll be able to um, start the application. Here you will see some guidelines um, to filling out uh, the application along with useful links um, that, that you'll see throughout the process. Um, please pay attention to th this important information, um, mainly that uh, that we do not want you to wait to the last minute to submit your application. Um, application submitted after the deadline will not be considered. And once you've read all this information, you can you can click next, and it'll take you to um, the small business information tab here. Um, just a point of reference: this is for small businesses only, and there are sections for university teams only. So be mindful of that. Um, required information, as you can see here, will have um, a, a red line next to the question. As these ones don't, um, you won't need to uh, complete those. Um, if for some reason you want to um, work on the application um, in, in different parts, you are able to save and exit uh, the information that you have and log back in um, later. Um, as you fill in information, you scroll through the different tabs. Um, with this next button and you can go through the the 10 sections um, of the application uh, one thing to be aware of is that many of the questions have uh, character limits these character limits do include spaces so please be sure to use a word processor in filling out this information to make sure that uh, you're within the character limit. Any characters beyond the given the stated limit will not be um, accepted. They will just be deleted. Um, you will have some opportunities to upload files here um, and you will just click on the file here. It should be saved to your computer and you can upload it um, in, into the application. I won't go through and fill out every question um, because I know your time is valuable and and um, and hopefully this is self-explanatory uh, for you. There are a couple other attachments that we have. You are able to upload or required to upload a, a two-page PowerPoint presentation and a ten-page PowerPoint presentation. We ask that you um, stay within the the template um, that has been provided you here. There's also opportunities to fill out, to attach, excuse me, two letters of support, um, but those are optional. Section 9 here is the business confidentiality agreement that, that you can download and sign here. And once you get to the 10th section, this is a review section. So um, in order to submit your application, all of these questions that are required need to have green green check marks by them. Um, these gray ones are not required, so they do not need to be filled out, but um, everything that does, and this is where you can check that. Once everything has been submitted, um, this link will be activated and you will be able to submit your funding application. But as none of those, n not everything is filled out, I'm not able to do that at this time. This has been a quick overview tutorial of how to fill out the application. If there's any questions regarding uh, the application, please feel free to reach out to our office at any time. Thank you very much.